What's up, Fisher people? Brett here with Bloomin' Dog Guide Service. So imagine this. You just caught that fish of a lifetime, right? That trophy. Or maybe just a personal best for you in that species. And you're torn now, right? Because you, on one hand, you want it on your wall. On the other hand, you'd like to be a good steward of the fishery and you'd like to let it go and release it. Um, a lot of people don't know there's actually options for this. Um, there's a way to have your proverbial cake and eat it too, so to speak, with fiberglass replicas. So with traditional taxidermy, you would have to obviously keep the fish and then they wind up stuffing it. But fiberglass replica companies can try to, like it sounds like, build a replica of exactly the fish that you caught based on measurements, weights, photos, and stuff like that. So as a matter of fact, that's what I did this last summer with uh, the 30 inch 10 pound walleye that I caught. I, I have it on my wall now in the basement, but it's also still swimming in the water. Best of both worlds. So when it comes to this process, there's a lot to think about and there's a lot that's going through your mind when you're out in the water, right in the heat of the moment and all the adrenaline's flowing and you just caught that fish. So it helps to kind of know ahead of time what you can do and what you plan on doing. So if you want to get a fiberglass replica as opposed to traditional taxidermy, there's a few things you have to do. First of all, you get at the length of the fish, just like you would measuring any fish for you know a length minimum if you want to keep it or not. Um, remember to pinch the tail at the end and get the total length out of it. Um, you also want to measure the girth in this case though, which is essentially taking a measuring tape around the fish's belly. So you need to know exactly how fat it is and then you want to weigh it if you have a scale. Now the girth and the length gives you a really good idea, but if you have a scale, even better, weigh the fish as well. And then try to, you know, for your sake and for the replica maker's sake, try to get as many photos as you can from a bunch of different angles um, and take a video if for no other reason than just for the excitement of taking a video of that fish, especially if you want to get a release shot or something like that. Um, but remember, like, while you're going through this process, especially the bigger fish when they fight so hard on the way in, they're very tired and they're very sensitive, especially to hot temperatures. So if you're fishing in the summer, if the water temperatures are close to 80 degrees or above, you gotta be really careful with that fish. It's gonna be really fragile. Um, don't, don't be afraid to put it in your live well for a while, even if you don't plan on keeping it, just to make sure it has some water and to keep it, keep, keep it cool and keep it oxygenated. Um, and you know, so like if you take a couple of photos and take some measurements and you're not sure if you want to put it back in the water yet, put it in the live well, give it a break, or put it in the net and hang the net out the side of the boat. Um, and then when you do let it go, try try your best to hold it over the side of the boat and hold it in the water until you know that it's ready to go, until you can feel that tense tension in the muscles again and you can tell that it's ready to kick and take off. So um, personally, for me, the replica that I got the process was scary because you can see a lot of stuff online, but you don't really know what it's going to look like until you get it in your house, unless you're able to like go on site and actually see a lot of examples of their stuff. So that was a little nerve wracking, but I got lucky in the place that I went with, which is fiber tech productions uh, up in Minnesota, close to Brainerd. Absolutely phenomenal job. I mean, I, and I talked to the guy on the phone a couple of times and he was a super cool guy that chit chatted about this and how much he loves doing this for a long time. And he made me feel really comfortable about it. And, um, it was a good competitive price. And if you don't want to go all the way up to Minnesota, they'll ship it to you. They shipped it to me for, I think 60, 70 to $50, 50 to 75, somewhere in there. They shipped it down here to Des Moines, Iowa. And, um, I, t the thing looks absolutely outstanding and I'm so glad that now I have, a fish back in the water and the replica down in my basement and nobody would know that that's not the real thing. When you're out there fishing, think about this. Um, only, only take what you need and what you plan on eating. There's always a lot of comments out there about catching your limit and, and what the limit is per the state regulations. And yes, you're allowed to take that many fish and of that large a size, but think about, are you actually going to use them? Are you going to eat them? And also think about the size of the fish that you're keeping. If we're talking walleye, for example, the walleye between 22 and 28, 30 inches are making the vast majority of your eggs. So please, please throw those fish back. 
if, if you can find it within yourselves, especially the females, um, they don't taste as good anyway. You get a bigger fillet, but they just, they don't taste as good as a 14 to 20 inch fish. So yeah, to recap, um, if you, if you want that trophy fish, consider getting a replica, think about what to do in that situation, the measurements and the photos that you're going to need and the weight that you're going to need. Um, and try to be good stewards about the, the resources out there and throw back the fish that you don't need and try to keep the spawning fish in the system because we want a lot of people to be able to fish these bodies of water for a long time to come. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching another fishing video. If you liked it, click the button to say so, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And if you want to go fishing with us, check us out at bloomdollfishing.com. And if you didn't like the video, I'm sorry. I'll try harder next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.